Erev Tov, Chavri Imam, Stephen Benun, you're watching Israeli News Live. Uh, right here on Lorenzo's site, already happened here, putting out a video, or excuse me, a uh, report today. Uh, there's a video reportedly showing the Iranian forces moving toward Mashhad, Mashhad uh, the eastern part of the country. That's not too far from Afghanistan. And, uh, of course, he writes in here about there being the Russian-made uh, S-300 missile system, the air defense system that uh, Iran has purchased from Russia being part of that uh, convoy of equipment that was moving along there. There's the photo of the convoy. And uh, let's see real quick if we can't link into his actual video footage of this. I thought maybe it's on here. It's actually on his uh, Twitter page. Um, Maybe we can go right to it there, just so you can kind of get an idea of the size of this convoy here uh, that they have going on. And, of course, you know, there's uh, very large rocket systems, kind of like uh, uh, one of the Russian-made uh, units that they have there. But all types of things that you'll see in this video here as they pass the different military trailers and things that are being carried, all of it on 18-wheelers. Uh, across country but like I said we saw rocket systems on there as well I'm not really sure when they said the S-300 system was in there I didn't see that myself in uh, viewing the video but perhaps something I overlooked as part of what that system uses uh, nonetheless so the whole thing about the demonstrations going on in Iran right, right now may not be the big story in the very near future and of course that unrest in Iran also kind of makes me think of what um, what happens before a war comes in? Always the unrest with the population is one of the big issues there. So it may be that the United States is very seriously getting ready to try to take down uh, Iran in the very near future. Uh, I guess that's about the only thing they can use to save the petrodollar. Hmm. Uh, moving on, a couple other stories here real quick. This here uh, on a Russian news site here. This is on RIA.ru. Uh, the story is actually about a private plane went down in Costa Rica there, and uh, there were uh, 12 passengers on board, two pilots, all of them died in the crash. I have no idea what that was about, but that's what's being reported there. And of course, many of you guys are already familiar with today, five policemen were shot. There were more people that were wounded uh, during this barrage of gunfire, where they say more like an ambush style type of attack there. One officer was killed in uh, the incident, Officer Parrish, and of course he leaves behind his wife and two young daughters there. What tragedy keeps striking the world. So many people, so many people are suffering uh, as a result of this. And anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Do be safe, it is New Year's Eve. I never like to go out on New Year's Eve anywhere. Um, because normally once the festivities start winding down, people that have been drinking are definitely going to be driving. Anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon. Blessings to you all. We will talk to you tomorrow with a very in-depth study there. If you can actually see some of my um, screenshots here. I don't know, maybe it's too blurry for the camera to pick that up there, but... So many biblical passages. I'm actually going to share it here on Israeli News Live. We're going to start the new year off with some very good news. Uh, anyway, shalom and God bless you as 2017 closes, comes to a close and we start another year according to the Gregorian calendar. Shalom, shalom.